Joined here by Ryan from William Joseph Communications and today we are talking about content and making it the cornerstone of your marketing strategy. So I'm going to hand it over to you Ryan, thanks again for joining us this morning. Why is content so critical in this day and age? Well, as you know today everyone is googling information, they're, they're seeking information to help solve their day to day problems or their businesses are looking for you know solutions and ideas to grow. So really what we're doing is we're always seeking out different types of information and so content Content really is the cornerstone in your marketing plan going forward uh, in today's economy and in the future. It makes sense every time I'm looking for a business or information, I, I type it into Google immediately and I want to see an effective website. So we're going to talk about ways to develop that effective content. We'll pull up a board here. Um, number one though is offering real value to your target. So don't use filler just to populate a page. I asked you earlier, what does this mean, filler? Yeah, so if you have a business or even your personal um, Facebook pages and social media outlets, the last thing you want to see is like crazy cat pictures if you're a business, right? So just because it's Tuesday and you have nothing to say don't fill it with stuff that's not of interest to your customers you really always want to make sure that you're putting out really solid strategic relevant information for your customers so everything is targeted number two think about the questions and concerns of your customers well you just said it right so you said what do you do you go and Google so you want to make sure that you create content that answers those questions so whether it's blog posts or different articles that you're creating you want to make sure that your question matches up with that content right don't waste people's time I like that number three don't be pedantic or use too much professional professional jargon so speaking in terms that resonate with your audience <laughs> I don't know if you have friends that are scientists or uh, just a couple you know those types <laughs> of people well really what you want to do is make sure that you connect your solution to the customers um, challenges right so sometimes people in very specific or technical industries will speak their language with tons of acronyms and stuff like that but the average person that they're selling to wouldn't even understand that so you have to make sure you speak the language that your customers are used to listening to. Jargon can be the enemy in this case and so now we've got this effective content, we've got this branding, we want to leverage it though. So once you have this strong piece of content, people are reading it, how do we leverage it? So we've got number one here, we'll pull it up. You want to send out weekly, monthly or even quarterly e-newsletters that curate your best content. Yeah, so what's going to happen with companies, uh, you're going to have this this pool of, of content and we're, our challenge is always how do we disseminate it? So when we look at things like newsletters or e-newsletters, people are always like, you know, am I bothering my customers? Should I send it out? Um, how often? You really want to make sure that you do keep a regular um, pattern to your e-blasts going out to customers. So if you choose that it's weekly and there's relevant weekly content, send it out weekly. If it's monthly in nature, then we'll do it monthly. No need to overload sometimes, I like it. Uh, talk about posting on your personal and company LinkedIn page. Absolutely, so we talk about LinkedIn, we talk about Facebook, all the social media outlets. You have this great content, is your audience is there? We're gonna share that same set of content um, through the social media channels. Twitter and Facebook, those are also social media t uh, channels. Are they effective? Absolutely. So LinkedIn is great for connecting to the business community and keeping yourselves connected with individuals. You look at uh, Facebook's great for conversations. Twitter is going to give you more snapshot of information. But at the end of the day, you have a story to tell. You have this pool of content. And here's all the different outlets to get it out. Absolutely. And don't forget about the real world. This is number four. Talk to your customers about this content. Yeah, you keep it relevant, right? The, the, you want to make sure that you are relevant relatable to your target audience and that you don't look too pre-scripted. Okay, I like <laughs> it. Moving along here, we're talking about content alone, but it's, that's not it. That's not all to build a strong digital presence. Can you expand on this? Well, you know, the one thing that we see is going back in the day, you had traditional ways to get your stories out. You had magazines and television, and now what you're really seeing is that digital plays a really strong part in helping tell your story. So you have to have both the infrastructure of a digital strategy as well as the content, right? Okay making sure your house is in order. <laughs> Well, you know what? Your website is really a hub of all information. So you really want to make sure that you focus on the user experience, the design, and the, uh, the um, accessibility of your site and all platforms um, to make that content readily available to your audiences. Okay, like it's like organizing your closets. I like this a lot. And in conclusion, I'm going to let you uh, draw this all together. Talk to me about powerful content and its importance. Yeah, so your company has a story to tell. You have an audience.